Making sure your agents are receiving regular feedback via conversation reviews is likely one of the reasons you're using Klaus to begin with. To help make this task as effortless as possible, you should automate part of the process by using our review assignments feature. This lets you set up recurring or one-off review assignments where you not only decide which conversations to review, but also how many and who should be reviewing who. Let's take a look at setting up the assignments. The feature is available on our professional and advanced plans and can be found under Workspace Settings in the Assignments tab. Click to add an assignment. On the left, you have the Details section that we will fill in. On the right is the Assignment Overview panel. This updates as you go and includes a handy preview tool that we will look at later. Let's give our assignment a name. It's best to be as specific as possible as you may end up using multiple assignments. For example, one for your regular reviews, one for your peer reviews, and one for your poor CSAT tickets, to name a few. By default, it will be a recurring event, but you can choose to make it a one-off if you like. Select when the assignment should begin, and how frequently it should repeat. Next, select if you want the assignment to be based on regular reviews, where agents are assessed by your quality specialists, or by peer reviews, where your agents review each other. Now it's time to specify who will be performing the reviews and whose conversations will be reviewed. Use the first drop-down menu to select your reviewers, be they managers or specialists, and the other one for selecting the agents you want reviewed. You can choose to disable self-reviews within the assignment. This is relevant if you have selected the same user as a reviewer and reviewee, like in our case with Stevens. We now need to decide how many reviews to include. You can do so by defining a goal. You can base your goal on either your reviewers or reviewees. For example, when you have reviewers selected, you are setting a goal for how many conversations each reviewer will be assigned. You can specify this as a total amount or number per agent. In our example, we have two reviewers and five reviewees. By setting the goal as 5 per reviewee, we expect each reviewer to be assigned 25 conversations each. The next setting decides how those 25 conversations will be distributed to the reviewer. For example, by selecting one review per reviewee in a row, it will assign one conversation per agent to each reviewer until the target of 25 conversations is met. We can see for Riley's assignment, this ensures an even amount of tickets assigned per agent, due to there being exactly five agents to assign tickets from. Since we disabled self-reviews, Stephen's assignment is not evenly split between agents. This is due to Stephen's also having the target of 25 conversations. However, he only has four agents to assign tickets from. Stephen's ends up with seven from Cookie and six from the others. This is due to us assigning one ticket per available agent until the target of 25 is reached. You can increase how many tickets will be assigned per agent in a row, and this will impact how the tickets are distributed to each reviewer. Keep this setting in mind if you notice some agents have more reviews than others within an assignment. Alternatively, you can set your goal around your reviewees, ensuring that they all receive the same amount of feedback. Finally, you need to set the assignment conditions, or, in other words, specify the filters based on which the tickets will be assigned. It's best to begin with a date range filter, so you are reviewing cases for a relevant time period. If you do weekly reviews, you should be looking at tickets for the past week. We really recommend setting up your filters so that you are targeting relevant conversations to review, such as complex cases. Our complexity filter uses AI to dig out the most valuable conversations for review. These complex tickets help you understand how your support operates in much more detail. Check out the filtering options available and make sure the conversations being assigned are ones worth your time reviewing. You will also notice that the number of conversations found will change as you add your filter conditions. Make sure there are more conversations found than you need assigned to allow for some wiggle room if your reviewers choose to skip a ticket when reviewing. 
click to create your assignment and you are done. Let's check it out from the reviewer's point of view. Your reviewers can find their assignment on the main Klaus menu. They can begin grading as usual. They have the option to skip cases that are not worth their time reviewing. Klaus will find a suitable replacement for the skipped conversation based on the conditions you have previously set. Your reviewers should aim to complete their allotted reviews before the next cycle, as indicated on the assignment card. If you are using multiple assignments, they will appear as different cards in the Assignments tab to keep things organised. Finally, let's check out the Assignments dashboard. Here, you can track the completion rates of your reviewers for each individual assignment. You can filter by date and by workspace. Assignments are a powerful way to automate part of your QA process, while also ensuring you're delivering consistent feedback to your support reps. By automating your review assignments, you're not only saving time looking for the right tickets to review, but you're also guaranteeing that all of your support agents are receiving their fair share of feedback. Give it a go to save time and energy. Let us know what you think in the Quality Tribe, and check out our channel for more videos on how to make the most out of Klaus.